Hey everybody, what is going on? Pete Simonetti here for NYY News. Got a big video to talk about. Of course, I also want to talk about this right now. So, yeah, your boy's a little uh, a little beat up right now. Um, shoulder completely dislocated, left shoulder completely dislocated. Everything inside there is torn, including the rotator cuff um, and also bone chips. So, um, 2021, as you guys know, has been a tough year for everybody definitely no doubt about it. it's been a pretty tough one for for me um hardest year like i said i, I put a tweet about a hardest year of my life uh when it comes to all this stuff that's happened all this year but also some of the greatest blessings of my life um ny news doing so great and um just so many other things coming like i said uh, i talk about january a lot um so much things coming up but guys i want to talk about this today enough about me all about the yankees let's do this Brian Cashman's biggest offseason is right now. This is it. This is the biggest offseason for Yankee general manager Brian Cashman. No doubt in my mind, this is it. The Yankees right now are at a crossroads. There's a lot of things they can do. There's a lot of things they should do. I think the majority of the fan base all agrees that there needs to be some pretty significant changes here. What that will be is what's going to determine... Maybe the next few years down the line for the New York Yankees. Like I said earlier, they're at that crossroads. So let's break a couple of things down here. We know the open positions. We know the free agents. My big thing is what changes are going to be made? What true changes are going to be made? We know, okay, the easy things, right? Um, they'll fill a shortstop likely. Uh, they'll probably sign a first baseman. Could be Anthony Rizzo. Or if that doesn't happen, DJ LeMay, you probably plays first. What is it? Here's the question I'm asking as me and Francis Lee have asked. Besides maybe those two free agent changes from the beginning of 2020 to 2021. Sorry, the beginning of 2021 to what it will be in 2022. So I'm not counting Anthony Rizzo in that and Gallo because, you know, they came in midseason. The starting lineup, we need some new names in there. I believe, and I'm telling you guys, this is my belief. Aaron Hicks will be in center field. I think Cashman loves him. I don't think that's going anywhere. We'll see what happens with Gary Sanchez. We could see a change at third base, maybe unexpectedly, uh, whoever that might be. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Jose Ramirez. I think if that trades out there, you open up anything besides Volpe, in my opinion. Dominguez, anybody could go for a guy like Ramirez. That is like the perfect get for the Yankees. Uh, but is Cashman going to make a move at third? Is he going to make a move... Um, again, uh, at second base, is Glaber coming back? He's going to make the move at catcher. He's going to make the move in center. A lot of people also get this holdup where they feel like, well, the pitching was good last year, so hey, it's going to carry on, right? We don't need to worry about that. Well, you do. You do because you can't look at previous year of what your team done and say, ah, it'll duplicate. Some guys are going to get better, right? Severino's going to be better. You know, that improves us immediately. None of that stuff you know. I love the idea of Robbie Ray. Talked about this a long time. And basically this video is, I just want your guys' opinion. I want your guys' opinion in the comment section below. I, I love the idea of Robbie Ray. I would love the idea of Sean Manaya. I think you get both of those guys in the rotation. Because some people probably hear that and go, well, Pete, they already got the I don't care what they got. That's the way this team needs to be looked at right now by Brian Cashman. He has to look at this club like we don't have enough, even in the positions we feel like we do have enough. We don't have enough. Severino's back, cool. Now let's pair him with Robbie Ray and see if maybe, you know, maybe we make a trade with Oakland. Maybe it's not uh, Chapman. Maybe it's not um, 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 Bassett. Maybe it's not the big names that we think of, the first baseman that everybody wants. Maybe it's not those type of moves. Maybe it's something like a Sean Manaya, who I think would fit terrific in the Yankee rotation. Maybe it's a Lou Trevino for the bullpen. But th my point here is there's a lot that can be done. So looking at salary-wise, too, if the Yankees do some non-tendering, if the Yankees trade some salary, if they look to be outside of the box, for an example, Araldis Chapman, if a team wants to bite Yankees off of maybe $6 million, $12 million on Chapman for one year, I think you'd have a lot of teams interested. 
And if that's the case, is that something you do? I would, but would Brian Cashman? Because that's all that matters at the end of the day, folks. Would Brian? Is that Brian Cashman's game? I don't think so. I don't think so. This is why I said at the start, this is the most important offseason of Brian Cashman's life. As Francis said and a few others have said to me, maybe Cashman saw last year the philosophy or the idea that these right-handed guys are going to be fine. The idea that Glaber Torres is a shortstop. We'll make it work. He'll learn it. He'll get better. Maybe all that is a, is, is a part of learning, even though Brian Cashman's track record goes all the way back, and it's kind of never been... I learn from my mistakes. Brian Cashman is a guy who is ego-driven. That is just fact. He is ego-driven. For Brian Cashman to trade Aaron Hicks is like I gave up on him. The trade didn't work. We got to win every trade. That's the way it is. So people might point out, well, he traded for Sonny Gray and got rid of him. Sonny Gray's agent wanted him out. Sonny Gray's agent requested him be traded. It just didn't work. That's a hard one to fight. So there's a lot of things, again, that could be done here. You got a lot of salaries. You got a lot of guys on a 40-man that you don't need. Do the Yankees bring in a good role player off the bench? Do we see a little more balance in that lineup? Do we see a defensive catcher? Because I know a lot of people, oh my God, Gary's production, Gary's... Please, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Enough with the Gary production shit. Really, come on. Come on. Gary might go somewhere else and be terrific. Change of scenery is very needed, in my opinion. And honestly, I think the Yankees need a defensive catcher. I think it's that time. They got a lot in their lineup, guys. You know what I mean? If we're being real here, do the Yankees got to work about catcher production? Do they have to worry about catcher production? Do the Yankees really have to say, well, we got to make our lineup up. Okay, this guy, we got... Gallo, Stanton, Judge, LeMayu, Torres, maybe Rizzo, maybe uh, Gio, maybe there's a different third baseman. I don't know who it is, whoever you want. Maybe a Seager in center f- in, in short. We got all these guys. Check mark, check mark, check. Maybe we trade for Jose Ramirez. All these guys. Check, 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 check. Yeah, but uh, we're not getting a lot of production at catcher. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? How about we get somebody that, you know, Won a Fielding Bible Award. Best defensive catcher in baseball. Right up there. Best framing. Does everything great. Jacob Stallings. I don't know. I, I I don't know. Could work. Could be smart. Could be a good idea. You know, especially when you got an ace who doesn't want to throw to your catcher who has declined and declined and declined and declined. Might be a good idea to make a change for, as David Ortiz talked about, could build maybe some team chemistry also. The manager can help assist in that, but we already know Aaron Boone doesn't do that. Aaron Boone doesn't do that stuff. The bullpen? Leave it. Leave it. You could even trade from the pen. You could trade salary from the pen. Earn yourself some more money. Maybe put it towards a a free agent. Maybe put it towards an extra free agent deal. Smaller deal. Something that's going to help a little more. Maybe a role player. Maybe something that's going to really help this team. Those are the type of things that Brian Cashman needs to do this offseason. If Brian Cashman comes out, guys, I'm telling you right now, he adds a shortstop, Hicks is in center, Urshela's at third, whoever's at second and first, it's the same nonsense. Sanchez behind a plate, maybe they add a starting pitcher. It's the same shit, guys. So don't buy into the propaganda hype that we go out there and sign the big free agent, we back on top. Don't fall for that. Trust me. I'm telling you right now. We've said it before, me and Francis. There are not significant changes. Don't expect a significant result. If there are not significant changes, do not expect a significant result. Expect more of the same. So again, this is 
Brian Cashman's crossroad. This is the Yankee crossroad. And he's given to he's he's in charge of the ranks. He's the man. This is Brian Cashman's most important offseason of his career. You guys like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications so you never miss a wonderful video from Team NYY News. Let me know in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? And if you do disagree, why? And if you agree with me, let's hear some of those moves. Let's hear some of the changes that need to be made. Let's start up some dialogue below in the comments section. Like the video. Subscribe if you have not. We are doing so well to our goal of potentially hitting 6,000 before January. We're probably about seven, 650 away, 648 subscribers away which would be absolutely tremendous to hit that number by January. So that is my goal. Guys, again, this is Pete Simonetti for the one, the only NYY News. Thank you guys also for the well wishes. I'm doing good. I'm here. I'll get through everything. You guys will continue to see me. Videos are never going to slow down. You guys know that. Talk to you soon, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, I tell you